You from here in Texas? You from Dallas? Okay, I'm from Brooklyn originally. All right, so it says, there thou shalt serve other gods. One thing that's very popular with so-called African-Americans, when we like get on hard times or when we go to jail and we try to seek God and we seek religion, what, what do we usually, um? where do we usually go? What religion do we seek? Christian and, and what else? There's another big popular one. There's brothers down the street handing out pamphlets. Huh? Muslim. Christian and Muslim. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about that. Read on. Thou shalt serve other gods. Now, the Bible said that would be another god. Even though the Christian church reads the Bible and they call themselves Christian, they don't follow the commandments. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So, the Christian... Christianity and Muslims will serve another God which neither the fathers in the Bible have known. Read. Even wood and stone. It says even wood and stone. The wood that makes reference to Christianity because what we would tattoo on our bodies. What is the chain that we have around our necks? There will be a wood and what? Wrong. Read that again. Even wood and stone. The wood and stone are different gods that we would serve. Right. And I ask, what do black people tattoo on their bodies? What do they have that's golden around their neck? Jewelry, but what what jewelry? Now think about it. I think Kanye West made it famous. He he wore a uh, um a Jesus piece one time. Yeah. Black, black, we love jewelry and things like that, but we especially love to put a wooden cross right. on our bodies, and we wear a cross around our neck. Right. I'm sure you know right. you got friends, and you probably yeah. might even rock one too. Yeah. So that's what that wood is representing. Read that part again. Even wood and stone. And the stone that's making reference to the Mecca stone. That's right. In the city of Mecca, in the um, in the Middle East. The Muslims, part of their religion is to make that Hajj to go over to that land and to march around and bow down and kiss the stone. That's why those two big religions that we will find ourselves like cleaving to because we don't have the answers is Christianity and being Muslim. You know, that wooden stone and God, he, he uh, documented that the children, that his children will go and follow these false religions, these other gods. That makes sense? Finish it up. Even wood and stone. Okay, so the wood and stone, we know we're not supposed to do those things. Give me Sirach 17 and 11. The book of Sirach chapter 17 and verse 11. Because no. all of the Bible's commandments, those are instructions on how we're, on what we're supposed to do day by day. So what brings you out here today? You gotta go to the hospital. You got somebody in the hospital? I'm about to have a baby. Oh, you about to have a baby? Okay. All right. Um, she, your, is she married? Your wife? Yeah. You married? Okay, that's good. So your wife in the hospital right now? She in labor? Yeah. Oh, they, oh, okay. They're inducing her. Okay. All right. So you're gonna put money in? Oh, praises. You having a boy or a girl? A girl? All right. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. So the whole book, when it says, them, um, thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, the whole book was only given to the Israelites. All right? We got to know that first. And the Israelites are, the, are, are only the people of the sun. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, right? Read on. And the law of life for inheritance. Read it again from the top. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Read it out. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. So God gave us knowledge, read. And the law of life. And the law of life. The Bible is the laws of life. Like the instruction manual for the Most High God's children. Like when you buy a car, you get a manual. When you buy some toys, a video game, a TV, you know, or like some mounts or something. To, to put the TV up on the wall, you get an instruction manual. This is the instruction manual 
the human beings. What we do today, we put the instruction manual away and we said, I'm gonna just wing it. That's why we get caught up with different gods, get caught up in homosexuality or um, gangs. The Bible speaks against all of these things in his instruction book. Read. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So it's very, it's very good that you came out here and you actually heard the laws of life being spoken to you. Because now, this is your first daughter? Now you actually know how to lead your daughter the right way. That makes sense? Because think about it. Alright, good. Read that again. Proverbs 4, we start at verse 1. The book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 1. Yes, it's, it's train up a child. Give me that one. Here, ye children. The instruction of a father. So the Bible says to hear ye children the instruction of the father, the laws of life from a father, right? Read. And attend to know understanding. And the understanding that we must know is God's commandments. That's right. Because if you ever, um, if your daughter or say you, you ever had the question on why we're at the bottom of society, the so-called African Americans, why are we the ones, get that, why are we the ones who have to march in the street, no justice, no peace, what's going on when we get pulled over by the cops, why are we in fear for our lives, if you want to get the answers for those things, that's only going to come from the Bible, God's word, right. it's not going to come from anywhere else, because no one else has the other answers, because, I mean, we grew up in a Christian society, and we think that God loves us all, and we're all we're all human, so why are we being treated differently? It's because God, he said, I love my children and I'm going to treat them differently. Right. I'm going to give them the, the instructions, I'm going to give them the commandments, and they got to follow me, and if they don't listen, they're going to be punished. Right. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Yeah. Bring it out. Train up a child in the way he should go. I want you to listen to this. Read it again. Train up a child. The Bible instructs us to train up a child. Read in the way he should go. Uh -huh. And when he is old. So you gotta teach your daughter the things that you want her to know. Right, right. And when she is old, do what? And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Your daughter won't depart from when she was old, she will not depart from it. Right. Right, so you said you're married. What made you get married? Because a lot of black people don't, don't get married. You fell in love? What age you got married? 20, how old you are now? Okay, so about five years. That's good, all praises. A lot of people don't get married. I wasn't married at 20. I don't know half the brothers out here. We wasn't married at no 23. What we was doing? Turning up in the club. Jumping from woman to woman. We was doing that same foolish things. And so we read in the Bible that there should be no whores. You heard that scripture? There should be no whores of the daughters of Israel. God doesn't love whoremongers. So now you gotta think what you have in a daughter in today's society, you got her watching TV or listening to music. You know how much bad examples there are out there? You think Megan Thee Stallion is a good example for your daughter? You know, and, and even the, the cartoons that we, that we watched growing up. You know, like Arthur, I, I grew up watching Arthur. I'm looking at that now, and they got homosexuals in the cartoons. That's not a good example for our children. Even the video games that we play today, they got homosexuals in it, prostitution. We got to train up the children on the way they should go. And what better than the Bible? Because the Bible is the only, it's the only reason, because when you got married, you went to a church, right? Well, why'd you go to a church? Okay, that's what she just felt. You want to just go to the courthouse? No, nah, we didn't go to the courthouse. She didn't want to. No, I mean, what did you want to do? I didn't care. Whatever she wanted. You don't care? Whatever you got married? Yeah. Okay, is um, your wife, a ch the children of Israel, what tribe should be from? Yeah. Where her father from? Where her father from? Miami? Miami? Yeah. Where your father from? Yeah. Texas? So, where is his father from? Uh, your wife's father, you know? 
All right, all right. So most likely he's from the tribe of Judah. Because in Miami, she not black? She, what's she? She Mexican? All right, so it's a car. You sure Mexican or she just Hispanic? See, you say she are, because Cuba, um, Miami got a lot of Cubans. Hispanic from where? From Mexico? Okay, okay, so yeah. So she'll be from the tribe of Issachar. That's fine, that's still the children of Israel. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 